Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. But today is a gift. That's why it's called the present. Since 2017, I have made 200 public YouTube videos. And today, on my 23rd birthday, I can finally say that I am ready to go all in and never quit making films. And the only way to make sure of that is by burning every ship I could use to sail back to being my doubtful self. So, it is time for me to shed my skin, take a leap, and leave any fear I still hold. These are my secrets. I started drinking and smoking when I was 12. I used to be an alcoholic, which I tried to hide. But I would drink almost daily in my late teens. So one time I drove drunk and scratched my mom's car when I didn't even have a driver license. I was a dumbass. There are always about a few months in a year where I feel like I'm a woman. And in my teenage years I feared that I might be gay. But the thought of being with men disgusted me. So I came to a realization that I'm probably just a feminine man. After my father left my mom, he tried to keep a relationship with me and my siblings, but I had to make a decision which wasn't easy and take him out of my life, to stand for something I believe is right. I have real intrusive thoughts that I fear, which call me to hurt people in a violent way or say and do things that will make me unemployable and unwelcome in any society, and I have to suppress it. Usually, I don't wash my teeth or my body every day, and I don't care. For the majority of 2022, I've been fighting with death. This was my first time since I was 13 years old where I actually contemplated suicide. Because I had no idea what I was feeling or doing anymore, but then I realized that all that pain doesn't disappear. It just moves on to other people. And if I kill myself today, who's gonna live all the memories I was going to have? I can see almost everything as good and almost everything as bad. So, it's a bit scary if you ask me opinions on racism, rape, bullying, killing, politics and art. Because I never know what I might argue. I'm a hypocrite. I'm trying to be super environmentally friendly, but I still buy Lego which is made out of plastics. And I try to mask that by saying it's a multi-generational toy and it still doesn't sit right with me. I didn't cry during my grandfather's funeral, but now I have a breakdown every month and I still can't let go. I deeply hate diabetes and it's the only thing that I still can't accept and that is literally killing me every day. This is the only thing I don't know how to solve Nowadays I just ignore it, and I can't change, even though I tried thousands of times in my life. And by saying this I hope this will put pressure on me and I'll change and start taking care of myself. I never cheated, but I've been with a cheater and enabled her. I want to live off making art that I desire to create, there's no other way. I wanted to give up everything so many times, but I couldn't, and if I don't succeed, I'll have to carry that pain in my heart for the rest of my life. I believe that we have three people in our lifetime with whom you can achieve real romantic love. And last year I wasted my second person, so now I have one more chance and if that falls through, I will have to be satisfied only with platonic love for the rest of my life. And so, with all these films, for the past three months, I've been painting the most accurate self-portrait that helped me become who I am today. But what really defines it isn't me, it's the people that observed it. We are like words. On our own, we don't really mean that much. But when we come together, we create magic. And now, I just want to leave you with this. I heard a story about a fish. He swims up to this older fish and says, I'm trying to find this thing they call the ocean. The ocean? Says the older fish. That's what you're in right now. This? Says the younger fish. This is water. What I want 
is the ocean. See you tomorrow.